M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the UV58 and Radtel 890, which are the same really. I'm gonna try and add some firmware here, some new firmware, and I'm not sure if it will even take. You've got PCB 2.0 and 2.1, and this is the M70 model. So it's the newer model, but I just thought I'm gonna try it. So you click here, download the, the folder. Now, I don't recommend you do this because it might not actually work. I've got my cable connected just here. I know it works. I've been testing the CPS software on it and which worked very well. And so let's open up the program. Double click. You do get some warnings. There's the bin file there. There's the flasher. So this is what we're seeing. Open up the bin file. My COM port, if I right click device manager and then click find my com pool com 16 so we know it's com 16 pick firmware so we've just downloaded that just here hopefully oh, let's put the whole file down. I'm going to make sure it just puts in the actual firmware so one sec so what I do I drag just the firmware into that folder that I've made over here so now I'll go pick firmware and I can just go to that folder which I called FL on my desktop. Always in out oh, and there it is there. That's, so that's just the firmware there. And it does give me the opposite the option to back up, so I might actually do that. Let's see if it lets me. Um, I'm gonna go to downloads. I'm gonna call it Hello, backup makes sense. Uh, save. Ah, takes a while to do that, so we'll let that run through. And the radio is, I uh, don't know if you can see it, but it's got a, a red light flashing. So I haven't put it into firmware mode or anything like that. I've just told it to do this. So hopefully I'll be able to I have a problem I can reload this so yeah that did actually work so you hold down the two buttons here underneath the PTT turn on okay you're now in firmware mode you know that because you've got a green light then at the top you just pick your com pick your firmware and click flash and it went green all the way across and it's worked so I'm, I'm not gonna push my luck here so I'll just show you it turning on and then we'll do a bit of a close-up. It's definitely got a different colour screen now. Colours that weren't there before. So I feel like I've got the latest version. Um, and then we'll just quickly go menu 46. Uh, looking for firm. Oh, it's the menu structure is different. So let me just... We're going to switch over, zoom in and, and check this out. So I'm very pleased about that. But yeah, it was definitely worth it. Watch this. How cool is that? Now we don't know how to adjust it. That was definitely not there before. And it's also got a frequency scanner. Let's back out of that. See if I can find frequency scanner. Watch this. So I, I, I'm setting it with the. I'm going in the menu and I'm setting the buttons. You know what they do, these two. So I've set the top one. Long press. Frequency scanner. It's now finding finding the tone, even though it's slightly out, and the frequency. If you press hash, it's VHF. And there is an airband sort of setting in there um, to make it better on airband. It's called AM Fix, and that's sounds fine to me just how do we get out of this I'm trying to get out now <laughs> yeah i just pressed the ptt but hey come on this is good bye for now more to more to more videos coming seven three